anything like that. My father would have killed me if I did. No. No. So, um, so then when you got married, you moved straight. He was living here. Mm -hmm. You were living in Bay Street at that point. Right. And then when you got married, you moved in upstairs right. Bay Street. And then you came up here. Okay, I got it. Then we lived up here, and then... Uh, and and then na na Nanny lived downstairs? Mm -hmm. But but his father had already passed away? Or yeah, his... long, long time ago. Yeah. He died uh, before right you were after married. they finished this, the house. Yeah, so her, his dad was dead before you guys got married. Oh, God, yeah. So Nanny was living here by herself? Right. Well, not by herself. Did she have the, the other kids? Yeah, Bobby and Bobby and George. George lived here with her. I have um, some pictures. Okay, you guys go ahead and ask me another question. I'm going to get a picture because I have, I have a picture of George sitting on the front porch with the beach. I bet you it's from that period, Mom. Oh my God! So what do we ask? Let's see. Were you an only child? No. No. I had a brother and a sister. Tell us about them. <laughs> My sister, was, she was the oldest one. My brother was in the middle, and I was the baby. And uh, he was in the Army, too. And then when he came out, he went, on the, he, he went to work on the railroad, too, like the rest of them. And Gloria was a rece rece receptionist for doctor's offices. She was really good. And uh, then she found Uncle, Uncle Val, and she got married to Uncle Val. Georgie got married to Mary Lou. And uh, I was the first one to get married, though. And you were the youngest? Yeah. How old were you when you got married? 23. 23. It's young. No, no. It's how old Mom was, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it's how old people are when you get married, I think. It's like two, you're like two years out of college. It's a good time to get married. Well, no, like, that's the, the age, age where you get married. The age of marriage. Mom was like, no, mom was like 22. They got married yeah. so that they wouldn't, um... It was 23. 23? Really? I thought they got married. Maybe 22. I they got married the first time. Was, uh, I think they got married. Because they were was, married seven years before still, I was born. And she, she just got a service. Time. She just got a West Point. Yeah, well, she was. She stayed until December. I so guess it's never of 83. But um, because they didn't want to get stationed away from each other. Dad, how old was mom when you got married? When we got married, was she mom 22 was, or 23? Uh, 22. Yes. Mm. Okay, mom. This is a picture. Is this is this when um? Put your glasses on. Yeah, I guess if you include the nine months, it took yeah. to happen. Is this when uh, nanny was living no, down here with like, Uncle George? Like a female. Yeah. Oh Mary. my God. Were you born premature? Yeah. Um. Three weeks? Two oh weeks? Oh my god. Right? Yeah. I can't remember his name. So that's, that's not Inky, right? Because Inky no, was no, Babisha's no. dog, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? He looked like an octopus, so. <laughs> they had a black. They had a black. <laughs> I, I didn't know it was a dog. Mom, mom has of, all these relatives and weird that? names. That's a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, right? they had a black Cocker Spaniel. Right. So Babisha had one too. Blacker right. Spaniel. And it was. Uh, so this is. Sorry. This is. Um, when she was just talking about how my grandmother lived downstairs in this house after my father built, grandfather built it, but then he died. So then my grandmother lived downstairs with Babiche and my dad and Uncle George. Who was in and this then, photo? And then, and then that's my grandmother, Nanny, and my Uncle George. Okay. That's Mama J. No. No, no, that's Daddy's. Oh, okay. That's my father's Mama. mother and my father's brother. Okay. He's still alive. Uncle George's one is still alive. What's your brother's name? George. George. Two so it's Georges. two Georges. Right. All right. That's confusing. Yeah, this is the George that's still alive. My This is Uncle Uncle Ray was the other brother. Yeah. So I guess Ray was living here too then. Right? I guess my first no. son's son will be named Ray. Ray was gone? Mm -hmm. uh, Ray was already gone. Know. Ray, Ray no, had already I'm left and went to Cooper Union down in New York City. So. He's not doing very well, I heard. No, I know. That's what I hear too. He's pretty old, isn't he? So... Okay, so when when was this picture taken? Oh my you god. You think? Get the Audi it's probably mom. Just look at Daddy. Oh my god. 
and your mom's account. It was on so a Chris. Cool. It was a Christmas What's time. I know that. So at mommy at, oh, at downstairs. This chill. At nanny's house. So that's Christmas time when it was still nanny's house before right. you guys moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it has the Cooper Union sign Up hanging here. on the wall there. Yeah. Um, you guys, none of you have looked like that. Wait, when were you born, so? Grandma? Huh? When were you born? When was I born? Yes. yes. What year? 1930. So you were born right after the Great Depression started. Started or so do you guys it agree? started on the no. 1929, October 26th. Okay, George. It's my birthday. birthday. No. That's you that guys agree that none awful. of us looked like my father? Can I see? No, I can't see. Good it. picture of his face. <laughs> <laughs> can't see, can't see it much. That much. hand is exactly like You've seen that ear. A lot. This is a good picture of Grandpa. Looks styling. <laughs> No, <laughs> like <a puppy. laughs> Why is there a picture of a St. Bernard in the back? There's two okay. with a puppy on his back. All right. Um, Tell me about that picture there, Mom. I think you look like him. This I think Uncle Bones looks like him. Aunt Nadia's house when they had a well. Which means? And that's my mother and father. Katie? It's at Aunt Needy's house when they had a well mm -hmm. up in Poughkeepsie, yeah, up on uh, Freedom, yeah. Freedom cool Plains well. Road. Right, exactly. Well, they're not there anymore, are they? No, it's I mean, sold. Aunt passed away, right? From that it's sold. They did sell it? Mm hmm Oh, really? Did so they didn't keep the house? No, it's Johnny sold it. Yeah. Oh, where'd it go? It's gone. I don't hear it. But that's it, and that's the property where he used to have his garden and everything. Okay. Okay. So this is at Aunt Needy's house. She had a well, and that's my grandmother and grandfather. It's a nice house. It looks that's, like a field. That's Poppy. <laughs> that's Poppy and Mama Jay. It is a field. They had a farm. Seven and a half years. Seven what are you doing, Maddie? Eight I'm showing the picture. Yeah, good. Yeah. Up. You're too long. All right, they've seen enough of that picture. We actually own it, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, next picture. How about this one? Let's try some Rorschach. This is where we lived Ten. on Ten. Bay Ten. City. And that's me, my father, and me. I don't know why we had this done. And Mama J. You, your yeah. father, and Mama J. My mother, and father, and me. How come just the three of you? I have no idea. Are you graduating from high school or something? No, not that I know of. No, what kind of sweater is that? Does that have a. You remember that? Mm -hmm. You look like Madeline in that picture. That's something Madeline no. would wear. Oh, I didn't see that yet. That's my grandmother. Okay. Yeah. Nice wallpaper. And television. You guys yeah. had a television. That's a pretty big deal. Well, Poppy got one the first one that came out. Did he yeah. really? Oh, yeah. He didn't want one either. But Mama got it for him, and, and then they never saw away from it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Let's see. On the back, it says, put the picture... Of me and this one, and you'll have a side of the living room. Oh, yeah, there's probably another picture. If you put the two of them together, oh. you can see. You're looking cute, Grandma. <laughs> Your smile is the same. Yep. Yeah. So who's... Um, <coughs> Who's the youngest, or who's the oldest in your in your family of George. the children? Uncle George was the oldest. Yeah, my brother. No, his brother. My sister. She's the youngest. Gloria is the Gloria. oldest. I'm the ba I'm the baby. I was and oh, George was in the middle. Oh. Yeah, she said she's youngest. And, but you got married before Gloria, huh? Yes. Yeah. She got married first. She, she was got the, married before the George youngest too, one huh? and the first yeah. one married. Yeah. You spent the least time at home. <laughs> how did um, in and out? How did um, what did Aunt Gloria do? I mean, she you, you worked in the bank. What did she do? She was a she worked re re receptionist at a doctor's uh, I Eisler's house. At uh, Doctor Eisler's office. office, she was a receptionist. Doctor Genario. Okay, and how how did she meet? Did she do a lot of dating or? I don't really know how she met Uncle Val. No. 
no? And the mob. He went after her, I'm sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> she never, she never really went anywhere. Yeah. To find any guy. Maybe she went to the doctors. And, and Gloria, Wall, uh, Helen Walsh, they always used to go with the doctor. Them, with the doctor? And go to the doctor. Hmm. And what did um, what did Grandma and Grand what did Mommy what did Mama J and Poppy think of Daddy? Oh, they loved him. Did they? Oh yeah. Yeah. They already knew him. Yeah, because he yeah. he was George's best friend. Yeah. And what did they think of uh, Val? Val. They hated him. Really. He was very cruel. He was very cruel to all of us. Really. What? We were like dirt under his feet. Really. Um, Why? Because he came he from just, a wealthy family, yeah, or no? He was he got better. He he did it all. Oh, he but his family it, didn't have money. No, he did it all for them. They were very wealthy, and he worked for uh, the town, mm -hmm. and he had a lot of connections, you know. And uh, and when they were, when my when my sister was going to get married, she was getting married on on Christmas Eve. I mean New Year's Eve, and. He said he, she was here. They were downstairs at the house on Bay Street, and he said, and he said, if you, you don't have to go, he, he told my mother and father, they didn't have to come to the wedding. And my sister stood like a jerk. I'll never, for, I'll never forget that one. Uncle Val told your mommy, oh, mommy Jay and Poppy, that he they was, didn't have to come to the wedding uh, because it was going to be New Christmas Eve, and, and they wanted to change it. And they said, well, you don't have to go to the wedding. You don't have to go. And she stood there with him. Oh, he was cruel then. That's when she should have walked out the door. Then. <laughs> oh, boy. Him and I never made it until the end. And then he told me I was the best person he ever knew because I did my three, I did my three boys, by, not by myself, but the three of us, the four of us all together, when Daddy died. And we did. They did a great job. When you think in my voice, mm -hmm. what a great job they did. <laughs> and Daddy so, had his hair down to here. I've seen but pictures. But he had beautiful hair. And an earring. Yeah. And a tattoo. He still has that one, actually. He's a rebel. Can't say the same about the hair. Huh? No. I'm more hair on my face than I do on my head. Still got an, an earring. Hold on. We have nice hair. Um, Okay, washed. so how about, um, how did Uncle George find Mary Lou? Yeah. I really don't know. What did Uncle George do when he graduated from high school? He went in the railroad. Oh, he, he went right to the railroad. Yeah, working with Poppy. Yeah. No, he was, he had diff he doing a different sh shift. And Daddy worked at uh, Peace School, at the, at the station down in Peace School. Tell us what happened to um, Poppy when he got hurt. Oh, How old were you then? Oh, God. I was married. Yeah, we were. I don't and know. You, and, you were st and I still had my kids. Yeah, I think I, I was kids. alive then, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, so what happened to Poppy? The. What do you call it? The, the door, what do you call it? From uh, the tr on, on the, the train, train, the car on the, the train. The car train, the came, the fell, went off, fell, and fell right on top of him. Yeah, so on the, one of those. So, so he was down like this, and the door was on top, and his face was right into the dirt and everything. But um, I don't know how he, ever, how he even made it, but he did. And then he had to use a cane for no, the rest of his life. Because after of that. his knee. He broke his knee. And his kneecap, right? right. He shattered mm -hmm. his kneecap and Oh yeah. He didn't have much modern medicine back then. No. So he went to Peekskill Hospital, mm -hmm. the old one, right down the street. And Daddy only had one ear, one eye. And uh, I was only what, two when that happened. He when he was on the rail railroad, he lost his eye. But they don't they but even then he didn't. They didn't take his eye out. They. He always had his eye. A glass eye? Nope. Just a regular eye. Oh, he really? So eye. he was blind, but uh -huh. he still had the eye. Uh -huh. Did it move? Yeah. 
So his eye moved, see. but he couldn't see. No. So he was blind in one eye. And that was, I was only two years old. I, was when I, say, I, I didn't even know that, that he was blind in one eye. Oh, yeah. Wow. Huh. Did you always plan on having three kids, or did you not plan it at all? Pardon me again. Did you want to have three kids, or is that just how it ended up? That's the way it happened, because yeah. he was supposed to be a girl. Yeah, the what a jerk. Huh? We're, we're the to nerve see. of him. And then when he was born, we were supposed to be boys. So. Doctor Vessi, Doctor Vessi was the doctor. We'd be whatever we wanted to be. <laughs> and I was walking. Uh, they, they were wheeling me down to the room, and then Doctor Doctor Vessi comes up and he says, "This tree, I'm so star sorry. It's got a spin, a spin, a spin. What do you say? When you were, was a boy, a spin, a spin. Oh, that makes me so mad." <laughs> Spin. Well, he had when he he was a girl. He wasn't a girl. Oh. Yeah. So he wanted oh. to tell me he had a spin. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> we know what you mean. You know what I yeah. mean. Yeah. A penis. Yeah, but it wasn't. He <laughs> said he called it a spin. So God, isn't that awful? I can see it, but what I can't say. A spout. No. A spin. A spin. Oh, I'll think of it. Okay. But I, he, I was wheeling down, I was being t to my room, and the doctor's on this side of me, and he said, Tree, I'm so sorry, but it's a step, uh, it's, it's got to spin. <laughs> spin. I was sorry, it's okay. We were just throwing the forward. So I didn't have any, I couldn't get my girl. So what was my name going to be? Your name? If he was yeah, a girl. If I was a girl, what was my name going to be? I didn't have a main name for you, I don't think. I really don't know. Were the first two supposed to be boys? Hmm? Were Uncle Ozzy and Uncle Bones, were they both supposed to be boys? I don't guess so. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, went, I went away on my... I got sick when... I got pregnant when I went on my honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And when I came back... So it didn't matter I if they were sick. boys or girls? I was... No. I was so sick. I used to um, throw up a lot. But then for the whole time that I had the three boys... I would get this savaya, savaya, savaya in my mouth for the whole time that I was pregnant, and as soon as it was, so as soon as I had the baby, it stopped. But I had piles and piles of uh, Kleenexes in a bag when I used to just do this. So all like, like a vial, kind of in your mouth. Yeah. Or, yeah. For all those Gross. years. For Let's each hope one of those we did years. not. Where did you that. um? Where did you go on your honeymoon? Please. We went to Florida. Yeah. You went to Florida. Great. Did you you drove to Florida? Yeah, yeah. Fort Lauderdale. Yes, a yellow <laughs> convertible. And a yellow convertible. Yeah. Did you rent it or? You, no, that was you, Daddy's. He owned a yellow. Sweet. Convertible. That's tight. I like that yellow convertible. So um, back then, there was no way of knowing whether you were having a boy or a girl. No. You just you didn't know until the baby was delivered. Right. Yeah. So you didn't have a, a name picked out when you went into labor for dad? Yeah, I would think. Would you pick out a boy's name and a girl's name in case so you were ready when the baby well, was born? When I when I worked, I worked for the Gallows down on uh, downtown. They had a grocery store, uh -huh. and I used to I used to work with them, and I used to love their son. It was Kenny, and that's why I called him Kenny. Whose son? But what if the what Gallows. if he'd been a girl? It was a girl. I didn't even have a name for it. So you must not have really thought it was a girl if you didn't bother picking out a name. I can't remember. Kenny Gallows. So where? So the the Gallows. What kind of store did they have? Grocery store. A grocery store. Italian, Italian one. Italian grocery store on, on which street? And I um, well, right on. On South Washington. Street. Yeah. On South Street. South Street. Right by the post office. And they their son. His name was Gallo, or somebody who worked for them. No, that's their name. Their son, Gallo. Kenny Gallo. Mm -hmm. It was Why Kenny, and uh, they had a daughter, Marie Louise. Your name would have been Louise. Marie Louise. <laughs> and um, if it had been a girl, would you name it after her? This is why I want to have an Italian deli. Why I want to have an Italian grocery store. So people will name their because children after namesake. us? my namesake. No, it's my namesake for oh. an, an Italian <laughs> grocery store. I never knew this. You never said you wanted to own an Italian grocery store? No, an Italian deli. He said that. I said I'd want that. Uh, the time deli and Kenny was rocking. such a beautiful little boy. He was such a nice guy. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. I don't know what happened to these people. Oh. His brother Anthony 
married one of my best friends. And this and best they friend at a grocery store. <laughs> Interesting. Um, second so thing. Mm. I worked real hard. Where'd you get? Day. Where'd you get? Stevens name. Stevie's. Stevie. Who's well, he named after? What I really wanted to call Stevie is uh, I used to work in, when I worked in the bank. This Fred Leverage was my boss, and he was a wonderful guy. What his name Fred. Fred. And I wanted to call Uncle Bones. Fred. Uh, yep. Bones. Fred, but Ozzy, Daddy said, Daddy said, no way. Because <laughs> he knew how much how yeah. much I liked Leverage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but he was old. He was in Yeah, was Mr. It. Leverage. So, I remember Mr. Leverage. Yeah. Was it Grandpa who named him Stevie? Huh? Did Grandpa decide to name him Stevie? I don't know how he got Steven. to name him Stevie. Yeah, Steven. he was. Daddy did. That's, it's P H, right? Steven. It's T S T E P H E. Right. No, it's P H E N. I don't I've like never that. Like but his middle name is Fred. His middle name is Frederick. Oh. It's Stephen Frederick. Oh. Well, so Grandma snuck that in there. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> I see that. Where so, did Where did Dad's Rob, middle name come from? Robert. Who's Robert? Yeah. Robert. You You name it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made confirmation. Yes, you did. No, no, not my middle name. Not no, my middle name. Kenneth Fred. Robert. No, no, no. Oh, I, oh, I took Rob. Fred. I took no. no I took but Fred. <laughs> I took Stephen as my confirmation name. That's it is? Oh, no, it's either Stephen or Frederick. I don't even remember how it got us. Good going. But I, Stevie's Fred. I, Stevie's Catholic Frederick. Dad. The Frederick's. Right. Valentine. Bones is... Uh, Ozzy's Thomas. Tom. 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 After, after Grandpa. Michael. Right. Yeah. No, I wish and I was Kenny. Took you know. She knows the answer to this. What? She knows the answer to this. Give her a minute. So Ozzy, Ozzy's middle name is Thomas, who's named after my right. grandfather, right. who is Tom. Oh, his, his name was Carmen. Why do they call him Tom? They always to call him Tommy. Okay. And they always called him Tommy. The railroad. Okay. Always called him. Because so, like, so, <laughs> so they named after my grandfather whose name wasn't Tom. They, they always called him Tommy. Carmen. Uh, Everybody in the railroad they, they, they always call called him Tom. Tommy. They did okay. call him All his Tommy. friends used to call him Carmen. All and right. Bones' middle name is after Mr. Leverage. Right. Okay, and my middle name is after. You know who, why my, why I have Robert as my middle name? From Frederick. No, who was who was who was who was born in the hospital at the same time I was? Robbie. Robbie was right. So right. I named you. Who's Robbie? One of uh, Uncle George's little boy. Yeah. So what this this Uncle George here. This is the one who's still alive. Who's married to uh, Aunt Charlotte? Yeah. Oh, Charlotte. She she was in the hospital, nice. pregnant at the same time that mom, mom, my mom was in the hospital, day apart. pregnant, and t uh, Robbie, my cousin, was born the same day as I was. We had the same birthday. Both oh. born August twentieth, nineteen sixty. And then what happened to Robbie? He died. Well, he had died. He diabetes. Yeah, we were in middle school uh, together in seventh grade. Oh, so. And he so got sick. Oh. And they didn't know what was wrong with him, and they put him in the hospital, and they put him on a diet of apple juice, oh. and he died the next day. And when, doctor, when day. the doctor came into the office, into his room, he just, just took it and threw it out. You know, it was all inside him. Just pulled it out and just threw it out because it was all sugar. Yeah, because they, whatever, they messed up the tests or whatever. And then when they realized they had messed up the test, it was too late. They basically sugared him to death. Yeah. And he was in seventh grade. That's sad. Yeah. So, um. And they were not, they were not very uh, well off. And when uh, Robbie died, Uncle, uh, your grandfather and I went out and bought him all the clothes that he needed to be laid out in. Because they didn't have one. Mm. It was very sad. It was sad. Well, we made it. Yeah. Um. What else? Any other questions? When? Who taught you how to drive? Daddy. Your daddy? Your father? Or or? No. Father? First of all, I did it at school. Oh yeah. So you did have drivers at school. Your dad's car. Yeah. Mr. With Leo. His name was Leo. He was. Uh, he was great. Uh, he could have been named Leah. Yeah. 
What is this? I hey, and you are Leo. Hey. You got these crazy connections in your life. Shoot, he was born then on purpose. But he was a he was a teacher, and we did well there. And then I went out with one dad used to take me out too. Hmm. And then I always had daddy's car. Then my brother was in the service, so I had his car. Also had that car all the time. It was a Dodge, a uh, gray one, big old fashioned one. Oh God, when you think about it, he did it. So you had um. You waited. Did did you intend to wait three years before you had bones, or it just worked out that way? That's the way it went. Just went out, worked out that way, and then another three years later, you had me, and it mm -hmm. just worked out that way. Right. Right. It wasn't planning. Yeah. Planned. Wasn't any planning going on then. <laughs> it just happened that way. It was pretty natural. And I wanted to get. I wanted when I wanted to get married, and not have any children for four years. And she got pregnant on your honeymoon. Right. And boy, was, and I was so sick for that. Oh, God. For each, for the whole three child, children. And Ozzy was big. Ozzy was big. Yeah. He had a big head. Still is. is. Yeah. He has a big head. Yes. And Bobish is a, was a nurse. So when when I had the baby, she was at the house. She was there when I did it. You did it at the, here? Huh? No, she was at the hospital. At the oh. hospital. And then when uh, he was born, he was he was like nine nine oh, something. Uh, Bones, I think, was the, was the biggest one. He was three. almost ten. Yeah. Oh, well, that and you were shocking. Eight, eight something. <laughs> yeah. But Ozzy was uh, nine something. Dad and, was the uh, baby. Bobby took the baby, and she had tears in her face, and she went to the nursery and said, "Take this monster." <laughs> Because the girl that used to live, used to, was the nurse up here, she told me that story. <laughs> they called him a monster when he was so big. His head was big. A baby? <laughs> he she was, it was too late. Doc, they called Dr. Sweet, who was going to do, a, you know, to do a cesarean, but it was too late. Yeah. So. Cesarean. I was a mess. Cesarean. <laughs> cesarean. So it's how, from Italy. He was a cesarean. Yeah. So how did, did do um, how did... Bones go from being the heaviest of the babies to being the skinniest of the boys. I have no idea. Madeline um, was a fat didn't baby. Didn't he have to have his stomach pumped? Yes, he did. Yeah. Why? Why? That's not going to be the last why, why, couple times. Why, why did he have to have his stomach remember. pumped? You don't remember that? Did he eat something bad? He, he was in the hospital a couple didn't he, times. Didn't, didn't he drink, like eat a whole bottle of baby aspirin? Isn't that why he had to have his stomach pumped? Mommy had, that happened to Mommy. Happened to Bones, too. Oh, apparently she baby was, aspirin was really popular. Just no, she she had the orange kind because she she just drank a whole bottle of it. Yeah, that's what happened that to Bones. Too. Bones had to have his stomach pumped because he drank a, he ate a bottle of medicine. I think it was baby aspirin or something. And what happened to his teeth? He just rotted away. <laughs> Both his teeth turned black. Yeah. Yeah. From the baby aspirin? I don't know what that we was from. Know. What was that from? They were black. They're all black and white. Maybe black he's a vampire. It was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. That's really gross. Yeah, I think it was after he got his stomach pumped that he... So does he have know. fake teeth? Maybe it's from all the stomach acid or something. Well, that wouldn't make him turn black. Yeah, I have no idea. I was just trying to justify it. I'll have to ask him sometime. Maybe he knows. That's the gross. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. Um, okay. Here's a... This is a good picture. This is... Uh, in this picture, I'm Madeline's age. In this picture, I'm Madeline's age, and I'm about to uh, go to um, West Point. It was the day you guys dropped me off. In fact, you're, you're probably like taking. punk. That yeah, freaks me out. You're probably taking the picture. You probably took that picture. Would you have the picture where you have the beer and she's like. Mm -mm. This is when you were going to West Point? Oh, I like that one. picture. Yeah. No, yeah. your hair was still long then. No, I get That's the day I reported I like the to West Point. Right there. To show it. That's when did my you last. Cut it? That's my last moment. He had to as cut it when he went to West Point. No, I, I remember you were still long hair. No, I cut it the day before, a day or two before I left. Can't yeah. go to West Point with long hair. But he was just being put in. You know, where you go? Don't they cut your hair into, when you get there? Yeah. I didn't feel like drawing attention to myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I got it cut to that before I went. 
And daddy always got, he got away with murder. Sick. Because he got, it's still pretty long. the kids always yeah, used to say that. Who got away with murder? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean I got away you with murder? You never had to go to work, remember? You know, say, he never had to go to work. I did. <laughs> I had a paper route. Right. I well, worked both at, of I, you did. I worked at the uh, barber shop. Yeah. I worked at ShopRite. That's funny that you worked at the barber shop. In the produce shop. department. <laughs> right? I worked in produce at shop at, at uh, Shoprite. That's that's. And stuff. then I was uh, I worked at the condos okay. for yeah. Ozzy. Right. Cleaning the condos. Right. What are they talking about? And I also cut lawns. They always said you never worked. You got a wet murder. They always say that. Let's see the picture. I think I look like you in that picture. Me? You think so? That one. You look so? Yeah. I guess. Let me see that again. Neither of them are like happy. a large neck. Because I was an athlete. <laughs> that makes your neck larger. Yeah. Yeah. You work on your neck when you when you play football or lacrosse. You work on holding the helmet. Well, strengthening your neck because when you hit, you know you need to have mm -hmm. you need to have a strong yeah. neck. Otherwise, and you, you got hurt. his you got his nose, little tiny nose. You know? Dad does not have a tiny no. nose. I don't know oh where my nose came God. from. Mommy. Mom's nose is it's like a mix between our parents, okay. but I know a lot of our Filipino relatives have It's like the have size our... of moms, but the shapes of dads. Yeah. But a lot of our Filipino relatives have similar noses. Where the heck are we? It was more funny. When I was a baby, Grandma Cruz used to pull on my nose. Yeah, that's she was afraid point. I would have a flat like picture. Nose. There's yeah. Babiche. Oh that's not Babiche. Oh, who is it? That's Jerry. And who is this? That's me. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. You're looking coy. That's that, Alice, right? No, like that's Len. Finish. That's that's Dennis Lambert's wife now. That's Len. Really? Yeah, Len. Uh, I can't remember Len's last name. Lambert. Before that. That's you. Oh, my. That's you there. <laughs> of course I don't know. Mom would tell us we're so smart asses. Yeah, here I am. I'm drinking a beer, and I'm allowed to. But that wasn't the first time he drank a beer. Seventeen year old kid at drinking. I guess we have was, a picture of you no, when you're sixteen. You have been drinking a beer in the basement. Must be 18, and then yeah. you smashed it against a brick wall after you stole it from your dad. I'm eighteen. I'm eighteen. For no here. Reason. Oh, yeah. God. Caught by the neighbors. Ooh, it's such beautiful hair. Where did you, you had such beautiful hair? I have a question. When when he got his tattoo, did you know about it ahead of time, or he did no. he just come home with the tattoo? Were you mad? No, was I? Where'd uh, you have I, don't remember, I don't remember you being here. Right here? No, that was Ozzy. Ozzy has a news right here. Yeah, Where'd mine's you have on my arm. Oh, you got your arm. That's right. Look at that hair. What about when he pierced his ear? I don't remember doing. I don't think I did anything with that. No, he didn't do anything either time. I got my tattoo with Ralph and Very Timmy Hogan change. and oh. Scott Clara Very when we went to Florida. Oh. And then I got my oh, ear pierced nice. with Clay Johnson. So <laughs> your best friends. Yeah. Wow. How did you meet Jerry? Jerry, oh, I used to play ball with, well, because of him. Mm -hmm. He played ball. And Jerry was the coach. Oh, that's right. And Muriel and I always played. Uh, we used to bowl all the time. So that's how we oh. Are you a good bowler? Didn't Dad yeah. used to keep the score? Huh? The score at your bowling team. He used to keep the score. Who, oh, Daddy? Yeah. Maybe. I have a better one. Tell me about how he used to bring Daddy to shows. To shows? Yeah, all the time. To the shows? To shows. Yeah. It's like... Like Is plays, like if you went to go see a show, you know, Daddy like like a, like a singer or a, yeah, I or always a took him when we used musical to, or to, something. Uh, le, le, uh, Jones Lake, Jones Beach, week. and then uh, wherever we went, they came with me. And we went. Did you go to the opera? No, just yeah. Daddy. Not he, went to, he went to the opera. Yeah. And then we went to see. What did we? Radio City. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daddy never wanted to go. No. Yeah. So I used to go with you and the ladies. Right. It was me and you and <laughs> Helen Walsh. Right. And me and you were the ladies. <laughs> the other lady, Mrs. Um, 
the short lady, the one you used to go to the opera with. Mrs. Whalen. Miss, Mrs. W Whalen. Mrs. Whalen. Right. Helen Walsh, Mrs. Whalen, my mom, sometimes Muriel. I we think. like that the, makes sense. Yeah. Did you ever go to the ballet? He went to the shows with the ladies. Mm, no, That's I don't think I went to the, the ballet, opera. but we went to see, you'll remember some of these, Mom, but you took me to see. The places we used to go were down to Westchester County Center. Right. And I remember it's a couple blocks years. away from Westchester County yeah, Center, there was like a uh, restaurant where we would go eat beforehand. And you used, you used to let me get like lobster tail. You know, <laughs> you guys <laughs> would get surf and turf, and I get <laughs> get lobster tail. But you know, you, I, you had to get dressed up. You know, right. wear a little suit or something and go out with you. And when we were down there, I remember <laughs> we saw. Sergio Franchi, two right. or three times um, we saw Sergio Franchi down there. And we saw Engelbert Humperdinck, right. I think, twice yes. down there. Jealous. And then, and then over the across the river, we went to Nanuet, was it Theater in the Round, right. I think it was, right? And, and there was a restaurant near there, too. Is that the name of the prince from Princess Bride? And in Nanuet, we went to see um, Chubby Checker. Yeah. And we saw uh, Patty yeah. Page. Pa yeah, and then she sat on your lap. Yep, Patty Page. And oh. she sat on my lap. And then we saw. Who's Patty um, Page? We saw uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Right, yeah. And we saw Paul Anka. Yes. Paul and, Anka. Uh, oh, my God. And Joey Bishop. Yeah. Right? Um, what else did we see over there? And then we went down to the city, you know, and you took me to see a couple of different musicals down in the city. And uh, plays, but I never went to the opera with you. No, no, you wouldn't take a kid to the opera. You know, even back then, you wouldn't take a kid to the opera. Um, and uh, and I don't remember going to the ballet. But, Probably but not. We saw a lot of concerts, you know, and at, and mainly, you know, mainly Nanuet and and what and uh, Westchester County Center. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went to Atlantic City you know, yeah. a few times. Remember right? that? Do you, do you remember the um, trip we took to um, Quebec? Yeah. Yeah. I was just talking about that not too long ago. Really? It's gone now. It's Sesame Street. Now it's a black hole. I did the fun. stairs. That's right. Mm. Mm. We went to. Um, how did we pick that place that we stayed at in Quebec? I have no idea. You went to Canada? We want to go to Canada. We've never been to Canada. We went on two we vacations in my, my life. That That's I remember. right. Atlantic City and, and uh, Canada. Canada. Did you eat French fries with gravy? That's what they do in Canada. No. We stayed at a convent. What? We went to a place Did called Saint Anne de Beaupre. <laughs> yeah. That's the name of it. Saint Anne de Beaupre. <laughs> That's what it was. That's where we stayed, and and they perform miracles there, right? Remember that? Inside that cathedral, the place was just covered yeah. with crutches and wheelchairs and exactly. canes and all that, and, and braces, you know. Back, you know, you know we heard you, about your miracles. You never yeah. see that anymore, no. you know, that people wear braces. But people used to wear braces a lot in their legs, and they, right. they were all braced. All these things were hanging on the wall because people would make these pilgrimages to St. Anne de Beaupre in Quebec. And they walked It's out. a big cathedral. And then and they would walk out, and then they would leave their things there hanging on the wall and Across, uh, across the street or on the same compound was a, a nunnery, basically. And uh, and they rented rooms, right? We stayed there yeah. in the nunnery. And then there was, uh, was it like a hundred steps? Or, I don't know, it was more than that. A thousand remember. steps. And right. There was a staircase, mm. out, an outdoor staircase uh, of rocks. And it went all the way up to the top of the mountain. At the top of the mountain. And you had a nail all the way up the... Yeah, what was there a cross at the top of the mountain? Yeah. What was on the top? Was it stations at a cross or something? I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But it was really long, you know, steps. Would you have to stop and pray at every step yeah. or something? That was something. But we all, the whole family went. We drove to Canada, to Quebec from here with um, far, with six of us in one car. I mean, it was. How long is that drive? Probably 10 hours. A oh. long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was, uh, I always got stuck in the middle, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, I guess it would have been, yeah, six of us, right? No, it would have been seven of us in one car. Who were the we other two? Mama Jay and Grant and uh, Poppy were with us, right? Why and didn't he leave his cane there? His mom, mom, yeah, Mama Jay and Poppy, because at the time. That was uh, before, I think. Oh. 
I Should have gone so. again. Yeah, it may have been before. You're right. Um, at the in my my father was a chain smoker of cigarettes, and my grandfather was a chain smoker of cigars, and he used to smoke these big long That's green expensive. cigars. And you in the middle. And I used to sit in the middle of the front seat, and they were smoking in the car. So I'm sitting this little Can guy in the middle. Imagine? My father's smoking the whole way. My grandfather's smoking cigars the way. This used to happen on the way to Poughkeepsie, and I'd get sick. By the time we'd get out, I'd be like green. Oh my God, get me out of this car. Can't stand it. And then there was four people, four people in the back, four people in the back seat, three in the front, for 10 hours on the way to Canada. And Uncle Val would not, and none of his children could be in the car with my father. Yeah. My father couldn't smoke when they were when they were there with the kids. Didn't he? Didn't he not speak English? Uh, Poppy didn't speak any English, did he? Yes, he did. Did he? Yes. I remember hearing he stories he never spoke at Christmas. Any to me. At Christmas, he'd play pinochle and curse in Italian. Right. Yeah. And they'd play briscola. Oh yeah. Right. Which is an Italian version of pinochle, I guess. Right. right? Really good. And they used to is it slam spades? their cards on the table. They used to go, Daddy, with his, <coughs> like that. With his ankle, yeah. with his knees. And he, like and he had the ring, you know, his right. knuckles, and he'd smack the... <laughs> Just scary. Sounds like fun. Yeah. But my grandmother and grandfather, uh, they snuck uh, a whole bunch of fireworks across the border from Canada for... Uh, three of us. My mother and father said, it's illegal. No fireworks. You cannot bring any fireworks home. Because they're legal in Canada, but they're illegal in the United States. And they check you at the border. Mm -hmm. You know, They check for contraband and all that. And my uh, grandmother and grandfather put all of their clothes in one suitcase and filled the other suitcase with fireworks. And then we went through the checkpoint and they didn't check their suitcase and then we got home. And my mom and dad were all angry because they gave us a whole bunch of fireworks. Mm -hmm. It was cool. There's a picture, Mom. I was going to show that to you when you came down for the promotion ceremony. I said, just thought it was kind of funny. Need some help? You got it. Oh, for God's sake. Especially when I edit it to some techno. Anyway, so that's when we were <laughs> captains. So you and I were both captains in that uh -huh. picture. So we must be um, probably just reporting to New York. Well, actually, I still got my. We must have just got back from Korea, actually, because I, I have Is my the Korea Korean patch on. So that's probably um, 80, I bet that's Christmas in 1988, I bet you that's what that is, because um, I, I came home on the 17th of December 1988, so I'll bet that's Christmas 1988. That's something. Well, thank you. Got, you got some nice, yeah, you got to take some stuff home with you too. Thank you for the interview. You guys have any I'm interviewed out for now. Okay. Grazie. Good. Mil grazie. Prego. Good timing. Honey, get that. 